So not only are we going to talk about how to work on this area model puzzles today, uh, but I want us to back up just a little bit. When I was first teaching you how to multiply polynomials, I taught you what I call the box method. It is also known as the area model or area method. But that's not the way I learned how to multiply polynomials, and it's probably not the way your parents did. The old school method, and it still works, and I know that there's teachers at the high school who use it, so I want you all to see it and be able to practice it a little bit, is called the FOIL method. Who's heard of FOIL before as related to math? We're not really gonna do this today, but I wanna set you guys up for some success when I'm not here Monday. The Desmos I'm leaving you to practice has a video of two math teachers in 2020 when they were teaching remotely doing a lesson on FOIL. Um, and I want you to watch it and practice what they're showing, but think about how it's related to the box method. So it's gonna be things like this. If we do 4x plus 1 times 2x plus 6, and just watch this, you don't need to write this unless you want to pull out your dry erase, but please don't worry about it. What FOIL stands for is first, outer, inner, last. It can also sometimes be nicknamed like the double smile method because what happens is we distribute this to this. That's the first, these are the first two, right? First to first. And then outer to outer, inner to inner, and last. And then we take those, basically what we've drawn here, and show that we're going to multiply those. So 4x times 2x becomes 8x squared. 4x times 6 becomes 24x. 1 times 2x becomes 2x. And 1 times 6 becomes 6. Thank you. I apologize. So what we have down here is showing, our x terms are showing up in the middle, just like in the box method, they show up diagonally, and we can combine like terms. And we get 8x squared plus 26x plus 6. Some people like this method better. I prefer this because as I've told you guys over and over, it's just for my brain as a very visual brain, it's more organized. And I especially, when I get into doing like a binomial times a trinomial, I mess them up. There's just a lot of places to lose numbers and positives and negatives. But you're going to see it on Monday, and I just wanted to show it to you first. If that's just it. I mean, I, I don't have the neatest.